Oh snap, we're back with another normal snap video as today, ladies and gentlemen, today I become a hypocrite. Today I play literally, in my opinion, the worst card in the game. Not like power level wise, but I, a card that I as a deck builder just really dislike. A card that I find incredibly obnoxious to lose to, but a card that turns out is quite fun to play. As long as you're not on the receiving end of it, it's actually quite neat. So you know what? Let's actually, let's, let's not judge today. And uh, let's, let's showcase what Loki is all about. Loki, good deck, <laughs> is today's deck list as we got Loki. We even got the Art Germ variant. Uh, I'm still working on upgrading it, but you know, the green border actually looks pretty neat on it. Though I cannot wait to see her anime um i don't understand like why uh loki is like a woman here um it must be some sort of like marvel multiverse thing uh pretty hundred percent sure that's the case but uh yeah people like that uh you know hopefully i, I don't know at least it makes for a good thumbnail right like <laughs> Oh, what am I doing with this video, man? I've, I've shit talked this card so much and I've been here already playing it. I mean, it, it was about to happen. For those of you who don't know, Loki is a four energy, five power card that says unreveal, transform your hand into cards from your opponent's starting deck and give them minus one cost. The reason why I dislike this card is not because of a balance. Like it, it's not a balance issue. I don't think Loki is overpowered. Um, in fact, I think Loki decks are generally very balanced and in a good spot in the meta. I just find it really annoying. As a deck builder, I think this is kind of like lazy deck building. You know, may maybe there's a little bit of elitism in that statement, but yeah, I just, I just hate like running into this guy and seeing my opponent just play the deck that I worked so hard to craft, you know, and, and then just getting to play the cards and being able to play more of them than me, it just really pisses me off, so. Yeah, that's uh, that's Loki, you know. Problem. All right, so uh, yeah, we got a Devil Dinosaur Loki deck, a pretty standard approach at it. Um, I don't know how much we deviate from like the norm here, but I just wanted to build this from the ground up myself, and uh, I chose the cards that I chose, and the deck feels very competitive. This deck can definitely function without Loki, in case you're wondering. It is a Devil Dinosaur Shell, which I have showcased in the past, which uh, for the most part is very budget friendly. Like there are cards like, you know, Loki, Mobius, um, I don't know what else is like really, really like expensive. Like I think those those two are the cards that are like uh, hard to get because they're series four and series five, right? Um, everything else is series three or under, which is really good news because you can definitely play the deck without them. And I have showcased uh, a Devil Dinosaur shell similar to this in the past on the channel, but this time we're incorporating Loki onto it uh, for the reason that Loki synergizes with Quinjet and uh, we are essentially trying to reduce the cost of our plays and uh, win games by being able to play more cards than the opponent. That is essentially what we are doing here. What Loki adds to the table is he allows us to uh, basically against certain matchups like Destroy, for example, let's, let's throw that one out there, we can really get some strong like synergy and be able to play our opponent's cards against them. We can use death against them, for example. We can play a five energy null, for example, which is amazing. Four energy, we have a Quinjet on the board. Like there's a lot of uh, specific decks, specific matchups that we can really punish and others in which, you know, we don't really uh, think we're gonna benefit from Loki because their deck is like very synergistic. Like let's, let's say like Cerebro, for example, Cerebro deck. We don't wanna Loki that. We can make the decision not to. Like that's, that's the thing about Loki, the best way to use this card is as an alternative line of uh, play, right? Like you basically have, it's like a plan B, right? That's how you should view Loki as. Is he fun? Yes, definitely, extremely fun. Is he frustrating to lose to? Yes, as a deck builder, personally, I hate it. But what are you gonna do? You know, it's a card game. You're, you are gonna get mad for your opponent playing cards. It's just, it's just gonna happen, man. I'm gonna end it right there though. We. Uh, you know, like I think Loki V, my shortest deck tech to date, is probably not a coincidence. Um, yeah, just just some minor points. Uh, we have Rogue to be able to counter Mobius. Mobius is very prevalent in the meta right now because Mockingbird Thanos is the number one deck, uh, and because also Mobius just hits everything relevant right now. Like um, in the discard matchup, you prevent them from playing Swarm for zero energy, and that just really makes Mobius worth it. Because other people are playing Mobius a lot, we play Rogue. This 
the premier counter to Mobius because we get to steal. Not only shut him down, but a steal the Mobius effect and apply it onto ourselves. Rogue can also help us win the Living Tribunal matchup. And it's just a very, very nice, powerful effect that a deck like this that's already generating a lot of cards. Therefore, a deck that's gonna have a lot of different options of play can afford these uh, scenario-specific tech deck uh, cards in them. Like Cosmo, for example. Cosmo can be played into a lane with Devil Dinosaur to protect yourself from Shang-Chi. Cosmo can also be used to shut down certain things. Uh, like Stones and the Thanos matchup, amongst other things. It's a really reliable tech card to have here. Shang-Chi, don't really need to speak much about it. White Queen, I mean, fantastic. Uh, Agent Coulson, Cable, Pixel Cable, Two-Drop Cable is just honestly i think this card is cl very close to an auto include as a two drop in general um i think reactionary decks can also really benefit from this card and uh you you're gonna see i think you're gonna start seeing you know with little time you're gonna see more and more cable on the ladder as i feel like this two drop is still not being as played as much as it should be uh considering how good it is right like it's kind of unbalanced if you think about it because what it's doing and still being able to net you three power is a big deal play cable you won't regret it and now now i will end the deck tech thank you guys for watching stay tuned for daily marvel snap content i got a spicy brew for you guys tomorrow as well so hopefully you look forward to that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna, I'm gonna tease a little bit it may have mabaku you know just just, just that's all i'm gonna say uh pixel yeah, i'm really hyped for that so yeah very very happy with the decks that i'm building as of late and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and yeah i'm gonna stop rambling love you have a whole day enjoy the matches and i'll see you guys tomorrow Bro, everybody's playing destroy. What the fuck? Can I get a two drop here? Something, something to come on, two drop so I can cosmo them. Two drop, two drop. Yes. Come on, Zabu. Can you do it? You can do it. 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 You can do it, Zabu. You can do it. No, no, wait. Yes, no, yes. I don't know. Who has initiative? Who has initiative? Please let me have initiative. 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 I have initiative. I have initiative. Yes, I do. Snap. It's over. It's over. What a good boy. <laughs> Colson. Mirage. That sparkles with me. That's their weakest card? They just played Venom there? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, I see you, Ronan. Ronan kind of like solidifies that position, but... Damn. This is their weakest card, though. Their lowest cost card is this. Get Juggy. <laughs> Victory. We still have not played Loki. It's true. Oh my goodness. Lord Almighty, give me Quinjet or Zabu. Please. Please. Now, please. Like, right now. Like, literally right... Oh, my... Oh. It's over. Ha! <laughs> 
Deserved. God, I'm so good at this game. Mm, yummy. Give me that Proxima. Mm-mm. Mm. Okay, question, guys. Do I Loki here? I copy everything in their hand, and, and everything is, like, extremely cheap. Like, we have to Loki here. They don't play Shang-Chi. So we just Loki middle. Oh my, oh my god, they play Wong. They play Wong. This is hilarious. Wait. Problem is I kind of like lose this location, but I think that's fine. Because I, I literally like mill them. Except, uh... Yeah, I had no re okay. Yeah, the ordering for that was awful. But I literally milled him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because Mobius is always going to win there. <laughs> Some keck and Satan in the chat, please. Oh my god. Okay. I still have a discarder here. We can play collector here. And then... Corvus Glaive. Into Apocalypse. Into Thor. Into GG no re. I I don't even know what the hell this game was, but I'll take it. Yeah, I know, right? D don't you don't you guys hate it? When people snap in Marvel Snap, like the fucking audacity, dude. I think I'm gonna have to live with the rock being there, to be honest. But let's let's see what we can tend to say. Okay, they Deadpool on that side. Interesting. They're they're going on the flanks. I think now we should be able to um, overtake that. Whoa, whoa! It's like, do you play Watu? What the fuck was that? Um, H. Colson. It's okay, guys. Colson's gonna give us Shang-Chi. We just fed them. Problem is, we're still walking into, um... I can Red Skull into that, man. That's hilarious. Problem is, uh... Maybe they, they kill Monger now. I'm gonna do this now. Well, must be nice. Initiative? Who has initiative? Who has it? Who has it? Who has it? 
they do. Fuck, okay. I could play Loki here, but goddamn, this Red Skull is just way too juicy. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's a 20 point white queen. Fighting for an Adavalier is um, kind of like pointless. Toxic, but oh <laughs> this game really shines when you don't take it super serious yes and I've, I've been guilty of that in the past y'all probably won't believe me but it's the truth pixel cable love me some pixel cable What about Miss Marvel? Oh my God, man! Like, I don't want to go full meta. I kind of want to do this. Like, Agent Coulson is neat and all, but Nebula is neat here. They snap. I can always Agent Coulson later. I mean, they can't hobgoblin now. I'm gonna take away their ability to like goblin me here. They can still goblin me mid, but I I have more faith in like the combination of um of Nebula and and Devil Dino. Maybe they have something which which they can capitalize on with. I'm gonna get intel with White Queen, but I'm I'm gonna play Mobius just in case they have some way like they play like a Sarah here. Cannonball is their is their strongest play, and Cannonball just auto wins no matter what. Well, White Queen preventing us from losing extra... Escaped. Extra cubes. Like, the Shadowland, uh, you know, clogged me. And, uh, they just clogged me further. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, I mean, Quinjet into Zabu. Oh, snap. 
What a coward. Victory. Extending the game. I see Quinjet turn one and I, I snap. It's just really, really good. And now I can play Sentinel into Zabu and Sentinel. And then our, our hand is just free. And we got Mobius. I'm not going to Cosmo them. I don't know what their deck is. I, I, I want to be more precise with the Cosmo. I knew they were. I knew they were not going to go into the vault because they they thought I was really going to try to defend this, so they were going to go outside of it. Doom, guys, can you can you math? Can you math before you type? Can you like, oh, eight minus two equals six. Victory. Why you scream us? Because. Because I, 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 I'm allergic to reading stupid shit. Guys, this time the claw will not surprise us. We're, we're ready. We're ready. Babe, no, babe, no, come on. Don't, don't defend them, babe. Is this rogue into Colossus definitely not worth? Definitely not worth, but I, I'm also worried about running out of space. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to Agent Coulson. It's going to be fine. Do we Agent Coulson here? Or do we rogue this? <laughs> so dumb. Um, I'm gonna play Agent Coulson here. No, it's probably not a good idea. Ah, oh, fuck it. Agent Coulson here. Ooh, that's a problem. Can Sandman be good here? No. We play White Queen to gain to gain intel, or or do we play Jessica Jones into Sentinel? No, White Queen. 
Intel. <clears throat> Intel. <gasps> I'm shocked. Mm, problem? Rogue is a really strong swing here. It seems like Claw is Claw is like 10 points, but Rogue is like Rogue is taking away 4 points from them. Rogue is also 10 points. But helps me out in all locations. If they play, like, first of all, they can't play Destroyer. If they play um, <clears throat> Spectrum here. If they play Spectrum here. I mean, they kind of have to. I mean, they can move Nightcrawler here to enable that. Nightcrawler here is 7. 7 plus 4. Uh, math, 11. 11 points. 11 points. 11 points. They have a 11 points. So if we do this here. And then we, um, <clears throat> we Spectrum mid. Like, they move Nightcrawler here to enable this, and then they play Spectrum. No, but Spectrum buffs that. Spectrum buffs that. Never mind. Spectrum buffs that. So, what if we go here? Into here. They're always going to move the Nightcrawler. Oh, they're going to move into there. Okay. Gotcha. Victory. Nice. 